We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Eugene Dewar, who is Executive Vice Chairman and CEO of the Nigerian Communications Commission. Dr. Dewar, thank you very much indeed for being thank with us. Thank you for having me. And it's good to see you again. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about this year's events theme. It's embracing change in a digital world. Where do you see the biggest opportunities for that change in, for the industry and for society? Uh, the biggest change for industry and society will be in the area of broadband. Uh, the broadband uh, programs by different countries are coming up. Uh, in Nigeria, for example, we have just approved a broadband plan. Uh, which has stipulated a number of targets. For example, it says that by 2017, 40% of households in Nigeria must have broadband, 70% uh, of Nigeria must have coverage of LTE and 3G, and uh, the contribution of uh, GDP, uh, uh, so GDP in Nigeria will be almost doubled. And what about the challenges? What do you see as the biggest threats? The biggest threat actually is in the cyber security area, uh, where the, the speed of internet is encouraging more hacking, is encouraging uh, more threats, uh, more uh, penetration of very secure data centers and things of that sort. And what about Nigeria? How is Nigeria embracing the change? Nigeria has just approved a broadband plan, as I've said, and uh, there's a new consultative uh, paper to actually define the tactical way of, of realizing broadband penetration in Nigeria. Uh, it recommends a model called the open access model, which uh, entails the licensing of infrastructure company, uh, co uh, companies in different areas of Nigeria. And finally, I'd like to ask you, you attend a number of events like this, I'm sure, every year. What, in your opinion, is the value of attending such events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, it gives us an opportunity to tell the world what we're doing and also uh, gain from the experience of the world. We have, for example, told the world about our uh, investment drive and uh, we have listened to, to problems that other parts of the world have. We have listened to Oman, we have listened to Qatar, we have also listened to the developed world and tried to gain from the experiences so that we don't actually reinvent the wheel. Well, Dr. Joe, it's been a pleasure seeing you again, and thank you very much indeed for being thank here today. Thank you very much.